I asked five men and five women what their favorite fruits were. The answers I collected in two sorted containers. Let's say vectors of strings. Now I'm wondering, which fruits are liked by both the men and the women in my dataset? This is a typical example of a set operation, namely taking the intersection of two sets. The algorithms library gives us the standard set intersection algorithm to compute the intersection of two sorted ranges. It takes two input sets using begin and end iterator pairs, as well as an output iterator to write the computed intersection to. The set intersection algorithm finds the elements that are in both sets and writes them to the output iterator. It does this in order, and as such, the output will also be sorted, and hence ready to use with more set operations. If we execute it on these sets, we'll find that bananas, blueberries, and oranges are liked by both the men and women. Things get more interesting when there are duplicates among the inputs. Here, the algorithm first finds the banana element to be common among the two sets and adds it to the output. Even though there is not a banana in the men set, there is no other banana in the other set, and hence it will not be added to the intersection. For the blueberries, we do have two elements in both sets. Hence the intersection will contain two blueberry elements. Next to set intersection, the algorithms library also offers the union operation. The union is the set of elements present in one or both of the sorted input ranges. Just like the set intersection algorithm, both inputs as well as the output are specified using iterators. Looking at our inputs, we have one banana element that is present in both sets. One banana only in the men set, two blueberries present in both sets, one orange in both, and one strawberries picked by only the women. Hence the total number of elements in the union of these two sets is six, not 10. If this is not what you were expecting, you might be looking for the merge operation instead of the set union. Standard merge can be used to merge two sorted ranges. It is not a set operation, but since, for the sake of these algorithms, a set is the same as a sorted range, we can also use it to merge sets. The output of merging our two sorted input ranges is a new sorted range with all 10 elements of the original inputs. Merging sorted ranges is an important step in many divide and conquer style algorithms, like merge sort. Now let's get back to the real set operations and have a look at set difference. The set difference operation can be used to subtract one set from another. That is, remove all elements in the second set from the first set. Here, one of the banana elements, the two blueberries, and the orange are subtracted, leaving a single banana element as the output of the operation. The symmetric set difference is the result of taking the union of the set differences between the first and the second, and the second and the first set. In other words, it returns the elements that are unique to set 1 or to set 2. Looking at our example input, there is a single banana element that is unique to the men's set and the strawberries element that is unique to the women's set. If you have been paying close attention, you might have noticed that the symmetric set difference is the opposite of the set intersection operation. Just a bit of bonus set theory I wanted to mention. Together with the normal set difference and union operations, these are all the set manipulation operations from the algorithms library. There's one other set algorithm that is worth mentioning though. The standard includes algorithm can be used to check whether one set is fully contained in another. It takes two sets as input, again using an iterator range, and it then returns a boolean value indicating whether the second set is fully included in the first. In this example, the set of answers given by men is fully included in the complete set of answers. Hence it returns true. If on the other hand we check whether the answers given by men are included in the women's set, we get false as there are answers given by men which were not given by women. And with that we've now discussed all set-related algorithms in the standard library. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know in the comments what your favorite food is, and I'll see you next time.